morning to one and all present here. Today I'll be speaking on tax reform. For this lecture topic, firstly I'll give you a very brief introduction. Then I'll talk about some of the government initiatives on tax reform, and finally I'll conclude my topic. As we very well know that any evolving economy requires a massive investment. This is not possible without a strong taxation system, and by strong taxation system, I mean a fair, transparent, and non-discriminatory uh, system. As we very well know that taxation system is something which helps in attracting the foreign investments and for improving the ease of doing the business. Tax reform in India uh, started by your Chelya's recommendation committee. And uh, later, the government appointed the Vijay Kelkar Committee in 2002, which further provided the direction for the tax reforms. See, in India, tax is collected in two ways, direct tax and this indirect tax. So, uh, some of the government initiatives for this tax reforms. Firstly, in your uh, direct tax reforms, we know that there is a TIN, that is your tax information network. This is something which collects the countrywide uh, data regarding the taxes and this was done to modernize the collection, processing and um, uh, monitoring and the accounting of the direct taxes using the information technology. Then uh, some other thing was like ESA Yog, which was a paperless assessment, the assessment for the uh, tax systems uh, online with the help of your email and your SMS. Then was your Sabotam, which connected all the income tax uh, tax collection offices together. Then uh, was your ETDS uh, and your ETCS, that is your electronically paying the tax uh, deduction services and your tax collection services in your government sectors and even in your uh, corporate sectors. Now, some of the government initiatives in your indirect tax uh, collection uh, was a very well known well known as a GST that stands for your goods and service tax. This is uh, India's biggest uh, uh, tax reform and uh, this uh, with the help of this uh, actually the tax system was uh, simplified and uh, it has uh, made more uh, it has brought more of the taxpayers and definitely it has attracted the foreign investments. Then uh, uh, some of the reforms and the reduction in your uh, custom duties and the service taxes were seen in uh, varieties of the services. Hence the Indian taxation uh, system is something which have definitely, uh, uh, definitely attracted the foreign investments and uh, have uh, uh, improved the ease of doing the business. But government... A very good evening gentlemen and today my lecture topic is reforms of taxes in India. Uh, tax is uh, a mandatory fee and charges which is levied by the government to, from the individually and the organizations uh, uh, also and to collect the revenue for the um, uh, provide facilities and uh, made infrastructure for the people also and the, uh, the collected fund then the fund used in the uh, any other type of expenditure of the uh, people. B and uh, individually and the organizationally and they are paying many uh, type of taxes in various of uh, sectors there are two type of uh, generally two type of the taxes uh, indirect tax and uh, direct taxes if we are talking about the direct taxes direct taxes is known known as which type of tax that the tax which is paid directly uh, to the government uh, like uh, uh, income tax and the wealth tax and indirect tax uh, which type is slightly different from the uh, direct tax and uh, uh, different uh, type of system to collected money also is uh, the money collected by the uh, sell uh, sellers also on the goods and service there are the many type of in indirect tax as gst um, and uh, sales tax and uh, other taxes value added taxes also uh, in uh, the taxes reforms in india uh, indian government introduced uh, the gst in uh, uh, 2017 and uh, it is uh, uh, introduced uh, G uh, in Indian government introduced the uh, GST and there are the many peoples uh, who are not paying the tax but after the introduce of the GST they are paying the uh, in the higher uh, 
पॉपुलेशन पीपल आर पेइंग द टैक्सेज इज़ अ वेरी गुड थिंग ऑफ द इंडियन पीपल इफ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द इनकम टैक्स इनकम टैक्स इज द नोन ऑफ एज द टैक्स वे आर पी इन द इंडियन पॉपुलेशन हु आर अर्निंग द मोर दैन टू पॉइंट फाइव लैक्स एट पर ईयर बट देर आर द मैनी टाइप ऑफ फंडस एंड पॉलिसीज वेर द वी शेज द आवर इनकम टैक्स आल्सो म्यूचुअल फंडस पी एफ पी 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 एंड एटसेट्रा अंडर द एक्ट ऑफ द इनकम टैक्स नाइनटीन सिक्सटी वन एटी सी एंड एटी वन एटी डी देर आर द मैनी टाइप ऑफ स्ट्रिक्टली पॉइंट ऑफ द पॉइंट ऑन द पीपल्स हु आर नॉट पेइंग द टैक्सीज एंड many peoples are uh, paying the tax in india and uh, the if we are talking about the at last i want to conclude my topic the indian tax uh, and every indian people individually are beneficial for the paying the tax because it is a very beneficial part of the indian government which provide the, there are the many types of taxes entertainment tax sales tax um, um, uh, earning tax and uh, gst and other type of taxes so these type of taxes provide the facilities and made the infrastructure for the people also in india thank you